What's up everybody? I'm Randy. This is a 5.5 Garage and today I will be continuing my ongoing series by installing a PCV plate from Damon Motorsports. Okay, if you've been following the channel, and you should be following the channel, in the last video you saw where I removed my intake manifold and I went ahead and cleaned my intake valves. I had some carbon buildup and before I decided to proceed any further with any modifications, I thought that was an issue that needed to be addressed. Well, one of the reasons why you get the carbon buildup is because the stock PCV valve, while it handles and does its job effectively under stock boost applications, once you start increasing the boost, the PCV valve can't hold the pressure and starts to get some blow-by. And that blow-by contains oil vapors, which then get introduced into your intake manifold and to proceed to clog up on your valves. Today I will be installing this PCB plate from Damon Motorsports. Now it has the factory PCB mounting hole as well as two extra ports which will allow you to connect an oil catch can which is something I'll be adding in later videos. I also went ahead and got a new factory PCB valve with the gasket and the plate comes with the necessary bolts and brass fittings. Since the intake manifold is removed, it will make this installation process much easier as if the manifold was on the car, it blocks the PCV plate location. So, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, going to get in here with my cell phone camera. And this is the PC stock PCV valve. And this is the stock PVC plate. And it's going to be one of the first things we remove. It's held on here with eight millimeter bolts. Here is the stock PVC plate. Like I said, it's got the one outlet for the factory PCV valve compared to the plate from Damon Motorsports. This is where the stock PCV valve goes, but you also have two ports that you can add in various configurations for oil catch cans, which is something I'll be adding at a later date. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready to install this one, but there's a couple things that I need to do first. One of the things I have to do before I install this is I need to put in plugs in these two holes because I am not ready to use those yet. But thankfully, when you buy the plate from Damon Motorsports, it comes with these it comes with these brass plugs that fit the holes now I'm going to use some Permatex high temperature thread sealant and this one is rated for use with connections that see oil and for those of you who are wondering the part number is 59235 and if you guys watch Car Passion Channel with the Greg Peters, this is the sealant that he uses. Okay, there we go. Next up, you're gonna to wanna to install your new PCV valve. To install the new PCV valve into your Damon Motorsports PCV plate, put the O-ring on. As you can see here, I put the O-ring on. I got a little bit of lubricant on it. And push it in there. And then push it down until you hear it click into place. There. See, now it's fully seated. And there's a little, little gap ring area in there. And in that gap, Damon Motorsports includes a snap ring that goes in place. As you can see, I've got it started. Now I'm just going to take my little flathead tool here and just follow it around, pushing it in. And that is the finished product. And valve can't come out. Now we'll get to installing this. Included with the new PCV plate, Damien Motorsports also supplies 
brand new hardware, so that's a good thing. And I also picked up a brand new gasket for the setup. Since I'm under here anyway, I, might, I went ahead and replaced the gasket and the PCB valve with brand new things so I know that there won't be any issues later on after I bolt all this back together. I have my new gasket in place and I can attest to the quality of this this Damon Motorsports PCV plate. This is really well engineered. I had no issue getting not only the factory PCV valve to fit flawlessly, but as well the gasket fits perfectly. So if anyone was interested and buying one of these and was worrying about the quality, I'm giving it a big thumbs up. I mean, this is a really quality piece right here. So, we got new bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and install this back on my motor. And so you guys can see when it's done, but there it is. There we go, better shot, better shot, much better shot. Get my hand out of the way. And that is how it looks when it's installed. Really nice piece of kit to put on your car. And we're all ready for the next mod I'm going to do to this car. All right, now that I got the PVC plate installed, I'm ready to move on to the next mod, which will be installing an oil catch can. And you can catch that one as the next video in this series. Basically, that's how you install it. I hope you all liked the video. If you did, go ahead and leave me one of these. If you guys and gals really appreciate the videos I'm putting out on this channel, especially the Monster Speed 3 content, go ahead. Click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little bell. You would definitely make my day if you do that. Well, we got the PVC plate installed. Soon I'll be installing the catch can. And then hopefully then I'll be able to get out and zoom zoom around myself. But for now, I get started on that next mod. So I will see you all next time.